right now is about normal is normal and illusion you know what I'm saying um when we you know when we say you know things are normal or for instance when we just came through this pandemic or still going through this pandemic and we say well things are getting back or uh, things have been getting back to normal um what exactly does that mean what exactly is normal what is the concept of something being normal <laughs> Excuse me. Where did uh, where did the concept of something being normal even fucking come from? Now, I will get into a little bit of that because I don't want to spend too much time on this because uh, I I went over it in one of my podcast episodes earlier, it's like my first ten episodes. It probably was my first one. So a lot of those topics that um that are like my first few episodes of my podcast that, that you can catch on um, Spotify. Um, Google Podcasts or anywhere where you listen to podcasts, you can catch those. Um, you know what I'm saying? You can catch all of them. So, but yeah. So, where did the the concept of normal come from, and why does it have the power it does in our lives, in our institutions, uh, in our world? Um, how did it become like air? How did the normal become invisible? You know what I'm saying? Essential and all around us. Um, Ian Hacking is the person that um, I'll go into um, further. Um, at some point I will because he's a very interesting guy. But Ian Hacking was the first to point out that uh, look up normal in any English dictionary. And the first definition is usual, regular, common, or typical. So how did this, something like this, become something to aspire? How did everyone being the same um, achieve the cultural force it, it has? How did that happen? Any definition that you look at normal, it pretty much means average. Basically, you know what I'm saying? We break the shit all down. It basically means average. So where did we start being okay with just being average? Or is the world okay with being average? Or is that even what the definition of normal is around the world? That's for you to decide. So fortunately for us, there is an entire field of people who study this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? They've written books about it. Um, one of the books are, is, uh, a few of the books are Madness and Civilization by Michael Foucault. Um, this shit is a, it's a great fucking book. I've only read it for, you know what I'm saying? I, I only read like a few pages of it. Um, I'm really behind in a lot of my reading because I'm worth scheduling <clears throat> fucking around and doing all this other shit, but I gotta get back to my uh, reading time because I'm uh, now that I'm on YouTube, um, I feel like this is a, an extension of what my podcast is on audio platforms. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> but yeah, Michael Foucault is uh, the, the the author of Madness and Civilization. Um, another book is The Normal and the Pathological um, by George Kangelheim. I think is how you say his name, Kangelheim. Um, uh, you know, um, normality, um, by Peter Crowell and Elizabeth Stevens, um, enforcing normalcy by Leonard Davis. Um, so 
and it's another, it's, it's a plethora of other motherfucking books. So, by these books and others, um, they have knocked. They kind of. Oh, I say this shit. Uh, they knock. They knock normal off the pedestal. Um. And into the fucking dirt. You know what I'm saying? They took normal and they broke this shit down in so many different ways and so many different type of um they nuanced normal in a nutshell. Before I stay out in words, start stuttering and sputtering. I'm just saying like this, they nuanced normal. They took different parts of it and shades of it and they you know what I'm saying, they started peeling back the layers of normalcy and what the fuck is it and how to even even become a concept you know what I'm saying um because normal is contingent it's contingent on history on power and most of all of uh flawed human beings faking it until they motherfucking making it you know what I'm saying so depending on what country you're in and where you stay the, you know, that's our normal. Like, our normal here in America is not the normal over in, in Asia. It's not the normal, that, you know what I'm saying, in Mexico or, um, you know what I'm saying, you just pick your city, pick your city, pick your state, you know what I'm saying, pick where you're at right now, and then go and look up a different city or go and look up, like, the sister city of the city that you live in. I guarantee you their normals are different um, due to, like, um, customs and uh, governments and education and all type of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And these scholars, has also, these scholars uh, have also noted that the word normal entered the English language in the mid-1840s and followed by normality in 1849, normalcy in 1857. And this is very shocking for a word that um, masquerades as an ever present universal truth. So when normal was first used, it had nothing to do with people or society or human behavior. Um, norm and normal were Latin words used by mathematicians. Normal comes from the Latin word norma, which refers to a, a carpenter square or a T square um, building off the Latin normal first meant perpendicular or at right angles so the true root of normal that had nothing to do with society our behaviors none of that shit you know what i'm saying and at what point did, did, did it become a part of our society to, to where we use that as <clears throat> as how things are supposed you know what i'm saying it's supposed to be you know what i'm saying um, but normal is both, in fact, um, it's both a fact in the world and in the judgment of what is right. As Ian Hacking, uh, he also wrote that one can then use the word normal to say how things are, but he can also um, use the word normal to say how they ought to be. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I mean, it's a bunch of other motherfucking words that uh, are out there um, that rival the word normal. You know, like natural, common, ordinary, typical, straight, perfect, ideal. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Um, and the list fucking goes on. But here's the thing. In survival of the fittest, normal had key advantage because it could mean more than one thing. So, um, the word normal in itself was so ambiguous um, that, 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 um, that, 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 um, it's ambiguity was a strength. The fact that you can make it anything you fucking want to. You know what I'm saying? And, um, that, <laughs> shit, that if I right, if you looked into in, in, into history, right, you will find that people have manipulated and perverted words. You know what I'm saying? Um, to
to what they want them to mean. And once you start breaking down those words and what they really mean, then you start getting to the root of all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you haven't, but just saying that you might want to start looking into roots of words and what they really mean. Because, see, our language is not even really our language. It's the English language, but we have the hardest language to learn versus the other languages in other countries. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I had a person that wasn't from America tell me that because we have shit like we, you know, <laughs> in the in the English language, man, we got some retarded shit. Uh, excuse my friends, man, I shouldn't be retarded. We have some um, some 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 shit that don't make no motherfucking sense. You know what I'm saying? We got shit like silent le silent letters. You know what I'm saying? We got things like that. You know what I'm saying? Vows, you know what I'm saying? Rules and all type of stuff that you know other countries just don't have. It's, it's just pronounced this like this, and if we can't find a way to you know to pronounce it or put a label on it, we just gonna call it whatever. You know what I'm saying? How it's pronounced over in America, but they don't have a lot of that weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it is just pronunciation and um, how, how you speak and how you say your words and things of that nature. How they're kind of linked. You know what I'm saying together, but like I said, um, the, the big thing about normal versus those those other words was it was so ambiguous that that was a strength. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, normal had nothing to fucking do with people or society or human behavior. It just meant per perpendicular. <laughs> that, that's it. A right angle. You know what I'm saying? A 90 degree angle was normal. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can get all in, into mathematics and shit, you know, obtuse and all that shit. You can get into all that shit yourself. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but almost, um, matter of fact, not almost, but all of us spend some portion of our lives wondering if we're normal. And it's not a bad question. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna lie. You know, me growing up, you know, if you hear my podcast or, or anywhere I get on these, you know what I'm saying, panels or whatever, you will hear me talk about what I grew up in. All right, so I grew up in, in, in South Dallas, you know what I'm saying? So my, my, the norm, my norm in South Dallas isn't, isn't the same as a kid that's from a, a, a suburb. You know what I'm saying? My norm in South Dallas, South Dallas was, you know, quote unquote, the hood. You know what I'm saying? So our norms growing up in that area are not going to be the same as people growing up in a place like a Highland Park or a very uh, rich and successful part of the city. You know what I'm saying? Our norms, excuse me, are different. You know what I'm saying? When I speak, at times I stutter. Um, especially when I'm thinking of something while I'm speaking or I got a few thoughts in my head and I just <laughs> thought spluttering and shit. A nigga might get, get caught up on T's, FP's, and H's or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? But uh, eventually I get there and the thought is in my head, but for some reason it's not conveying to whatever it got to, you know, I don't know. But, um, so for a minute, I used to think that, damn, I'm not normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, people talking, and they ain't stutter. You know what I'm saying? So, why do I talk and stutter? You know what I'm saying? Why do I do this? You know what I'm saying? So, for a long time, I grew up feeling different. You know, kids, you know, kids tease you, and they call you shit like stuttering Stanley, and you know, it's all this little weird ass shit, but as I got older, you know what I'm saying, I you know, I did go through speech therapy and things of that nature. I mean, you know, it didn't work, you know what I'm saying? But I don't stutter near as bad, um, when my thoughts are well thought out. Um, usually when I start stuttering bad, I just be quiet. Um, usually it's more in moments that are like all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it makes me very very anxious, and that's something that I've been trying to work on, you know what I'm saying, 
Um, that's something that I was diagnosed with, you know what I'm saying, as back with a psychiatrist, you know what I'm saying, like, you got severe anxiety, dude, like, you out here, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but that's neither here you know, there, that's another podcast episode for a different day, you know what I'm saying, but when it comes to, um, um, behaviors, you know what I'm saying, for instance, um, someone with a mental disorder has behaviors, you know what I'm saying, the feelings and thoughts that deviate from the norm, you know what I'm saying, they don't match up to what society deems as the standard, you know what I'm saying, whatever society deems as the standard, people with mental disorders don't add up to them. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. I hope you're reading between the lines of what I'm saying. I'm not going in detail about that right now. So, whoever sets the standard of what normal is, people with mental disorders have behaviors and feelings and thoughts that deviate away from that, you know, um, so whenever we wonder what's normal, it's often, it's often in the sense of determining whether the way we think and act is the same or at least similar to the majority of other people, you know what I'm saying, and when it comes to our, our, our own behavior, Hopefully, you take the time out to evaluate your own behaviors, you know what I'm saying, whatever they are. We usually decide how to act based upon our own perception of what the fuck normal is, you know what I'm saying? So, if you gamble compulsively and you feel like it's an unusual behavior that one of few very people in the world who can't stop gambling, then you might feel ashamed or hiding. But if you learn that millions of people in the world, you know what I'm saying, gamble and have a gambling addiction and support and treatment are available, then you might be more likely to try to change your behavior. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, um, the social standards have a strong influence on the idea, the idea of what being normal is. You know what I'm saying? So a person in the Western society views, you know, normal in a totally different spectrum than a person over from the east. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to that gambling example I just used. You know what I'm saying? A person in the western society views gambling uh, or views a gambling addiction um, as seen as a typical adult. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. It's typical adult shit. Niggas go to the, you know, casinos and Take, you know what I'm saying? Gamble that shit off. Some people gamble more than others. I've seen people in there lose five bucks in the league. I've seen people in there lose five thousand dollars in the league. And I guarantee it's people that lose much, much more. You know what I'm saying? But us over here, we don't view it as something like that's like, oh my God, he just gambling, he just breaking the mold, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's legalized. Well, you know where I'm at. You can go to Vegas, you can go to Louisiana, you can go to Atlantic City and Arizona, I don't know, like, it's, it's in certain places, shit, you can do it from your motherfucking um, computer. Do it from your phone. You know what I'm saying? So, there it is. It's that fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? But, over in the Far East, or over in, just in the, in the east, eastern part of the world, uh, they don't really dig that, way like, too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, amongst other things from Western culture, you know what I'm saying? They don't did that shit, but that may be considered unstoppable. You know what I'm saying? Um, gambling may be considered unstoppable, you know what I'm saying, to be a reasonable behavior, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, another example is we can um, talk about our laws over in our um, society. You know what I'm saying? We have to take a look at our laws to see what's culturally considered normal, but 
that doesn't always give us the right clues or the right answers or the right solutions to our problems, do it. You know what I'm saying? Right now, the norm is to, um, for black people, um, the norm is when you turn on TV, if I didn't know, if I didn't know anything, if I came from planet who gives a fuck and got dropped on Earth, and whoever uh, whoever dropped me off was like, say, man, we need you to get a scope of everybody down there, the types of people and all that shit. When you cut on TV and you see black people, what do you see? Okay, they're killing each other. Okay, their women are exploiting themselves. Okay, they're rapping about killing it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of taboo shit. And okay, okay, oh, okay. Well, this is not just. Oh, okay. Well, one, one. You know, they got killed in the streets. A lot of them getting killed. You know what I'm saying? That's what the perception would be if someone just didn't know anything and just plopped down on Earth. And from that day forward, they had to create an, an identity of what normal was for everybody on this motherfucking earth. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's normal. It shouldn't be, but normal is not right or wrong, right? It just depends on it's contingent on culture and a bunch of other shit, right? So what normal should be, it really ain't. If that makes any sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but... Right now, it's normal to see a black man like myself get arrested and sent to jail. It's means of people, it's means of black men who look just like me who are sitting in jail cells. That's the norm for our society. For whatever reason, good, bad, or, or, or ugly, that's the norm. So, you see, normal is not, that shit ain't no, you know, Right or wrong to it, man. Whoever controls, whoever controls the ideals, controls the definitions of all this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think normal is an illusion. You know what I'm saying? That's where I come to my conclusion that normal is an illusion because normal is whatever you make it. Some people's normal is getting up and going to work every day, working hard, you know, coming home. Some people's normal is waking up, not doing shit, stealing, killing, and robbing. Some people's norms are extreme or taboo, and some are not. Like I said, those things are contingent depending on where you at, how you grew up what you believe in, what you do, your behaviors, your mindset, your mind frame, you know what I'm saying, and, and all that shit, you know what I'm saying, that's what it's contingent on, That's what, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking about, you know, being normal, you know what I'm saying, so, unfortunately, normal is seen through the eye of the beholder, and the beholder has the ability to filter through the lens of society of what normal is. Alright? So, um, that'll wrap this up. I won't go any further. I don't reach my limit to where all my videos to be. I'm trying to make them short, sweet, and to the point where I can put out high quality videos and high quality time, man. It's going to be getting a few of them today. But thank you for watching True Appeal Podcast. We can get a chance go over to Spotify, Anchor, Radio Public, uh, anywhere you listen to podcasts. If all else fails, go to Google Podcasts. Type in Google and type in Trill Pill Podcast, and you'll see my partner. You know what I'm saying? Young Billy Barrowhead. You'll see him pop up and, and hit that link and, you know, hear what I have to say. You know what I'm saying? You may not uh, get an understanding of what the podcast really is. But that's because even I don't understand what the podcast really is yet. I don't know what my genre is. I don't think I have one. But it is interesting, um, intriguing. Um, you might learn something. You might not. Um, sometimes I get 
personal. Sometimes I do podcasts like this where it's more informational than personal. But whatever it is, all that shit is what makes the trip here. All everything that I just named, everything that I can't think of right now, are the ingredients that I'm giving you through the medicine of the trip pill. You know what I'm saying? So take the trip pill, come subscribe to me, follow me. I know it's a lot of bubblegum shit out there. It's a lot of very, you know, surface level shit, and that's okay. It, it's always a main force and surface level shit, but. You know, sometimes you got to get a little deep in the surface level. You know what I'm saying? You got to get your vibrations up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get your shit up. You know? Anyway, this is the Trill Pill Podcast. I appreciate everything. Uh, thank you for listening to me talking my shit. You can give me um, feedback. Please give me feedback, comments, um, everything. Give it to me. Also, go follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Trill Pill Podcast. Cash out is dollar sign the true pill is down at the very bottom. Been down here that whole time, so if you ain't seen it, then you need to look below. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's right there. You know what I'm saying? So much love to y'all. God bless. Um, y'all be safe out here. You know what I'm saying? And stay dangerous, not damn it. True pill podcast. Stay true and heal and mind your mental. You know what I'm saying? Mind your mental. Mind your mental. To be monumental. It's a trip here. I'm out.